somos 5% da população mundial e conseguimos proteger 82% da biodiversidade que existe viva no mundo. Somos poucos, mas temos o 80% do água dulce do planeta. Temos o 80% da de de vida, da biodiversidade, no água, nos árvores, nas montanhas. This place is Yahatinda. Yahatinda translates to a place that feels sacred. It's some place you long for because it's so beautiful. We used to be part of a larger community, what we refer to as all my relations this water, those trees, those rocks, and all the plants and other animals that used to be here. Western society he removed themselves from that large community. As indigenous people, we've never really separated ourselves. We've continued the stories, the songs, the ceremonies that happen at places like this. We already know what that larger community is all about. It's our responsibility to teach people who don't know that knowledge of all my relations from being in a large community, teach them what it's all about. Everything that we do has an impact on nature. And of course, that comes back to us in terms of impact on availability of resources and the water that we drink and the climate that we have. We cannot think ourselves as a separate entity from nature. Forests and tribals are inseparable. Our traditional knowledge is very high in this tribal area. Tribal families for the generations they have been growing in that area, they are living with nature. They know each and every plant in forest areas. For example, medicinal herbs. They are really able to identify when it flowers, when it fruits, when it should be collected, when it should not be collected. So this is that kind of tremendous traditional knowledge is available with them. It is the beauty of this tribal farm. Simple, they symbiotic with nature, in harmony with nature. Many of the services that nature provides today are just taken for granted. Oversimplification of our relationship with nature has led to consider many of the ecosystem services we have today as services with no value. We think a little bit differently about land. In this day and age, you know, people might think of it as a dollar value. Well, most Gatanji would think about uh, the place where we belong. We don't think that it belongs to us. We think we belong to it. We were custodians of the land, and we're still custodians of the land. We're getting opportunity with our families to be financed to care for country. It's what we were always meant to be. If we work on country, then we help things like the wetlands, which provides a space for you know, migratory birds, but also the fish life. You're involved in a whole ecosystem that we're all part of it. So if we can start having that conversation again about rebuilding country and be a part of that, then that's fantastic. If we can teach our kids a big part of what it means to be Aboriginal in this land is to care for the country so that the country continues to care for us. If we tend to think on humans as part of a complex network that interact with the natural resources, with the living environment, 
and with animals and so on with the rest of our planet, we can, hit, we can get a much better picture of the impact of our action in the planet and of course of the potential consequences for our future. En nuestros territorios hay mucha violación en los derechos de la madre selva amazónica. Y en este momento queremos seguir manteniéndola viva. Queremos mantener el de la selva amazónica viva para toda la humanidad, pero no lo podemos hacer solo. Estamos juntos en esto. É um momento grave, é um momento urgente, né? A crise climática já está Né, em, em todas as partes do mundo, né, já é uma realidade e nós precisamos agir agora.